Welcome viewers to another episode of Lessons Learned. My name is Vincent Vesa. I am an author. I am the founder of Hidden Treasure Novels and the regional representative for the North Carolina Writers Network, Metro North Chapter. I am so pleased today to introduce to you Thomas Duman, an author, a member of our chapter, and a contributor to HTN. Tom is going to share with us today a second lesson that he's learned, a lesson particularly appropriate for writers. Last week, we learned from Thomas that you should archive your ideas, that you should chill your mind and write with passion. Today, Thomas is going to share some additional lessons, starting with lesson two, an impediment to great writing. So Thomas, I'd like to turn the stage over to you and have you share your lessons learned with our group. Thank you, uh, thank you for having me. Um, I certainly enjoy being here this afternoon and uh, welcome to all of the, uh, the writers that are taking a few minutes to listen uh, to some of my ideas. What I'm gonna talk about today is an impediment to great writing and the little tag at the bottom, beware of the digital age. Now, I'm not against the digital age. I just wanna give a few ideas today on which parts of the digital age can be a little bit uh, troublesome to us as writers. Um, Tag sort of uh, like know the enemy. The enemy at times can be the media. We are constantly bombarded with digital images and words that uh, unbeknown to us are trying to squeeze our creativity. As, as novelists, as uh, folks who write fiction, we need a free mind. We need a mind that's got the freedom uh, to create, to create new ideas, to put words on paper. I went back, I guess it was about six decades to sort of catalog when this uh, bombardment started. And you've got the, sort of goes by decade. You have the boob tube in the 60s, email hit us in the 70s, video gaming bounced in in the 80s, the cable news network started in the 90s, Facebook and YouTube, they were around the year 2000. And certainly now since 2010 and the 2020s, we've got literally streaming everything. No surprise to any of you, the social media, Facebook, WhatsApp, Snapchat, Reddit, TikTok are like impervious. They're absolutely everywhere. We need them, we want them, but when we want to put ourselves into a mode of, of creating fiction, of creating ideas, they can be an impediment to, to ideas falling into our head and then us being able to put them on paper. So we need to find the ways at times to, to shun that electronic clutter and why. <clears throat> my theory is, my pet peeve is it's, we're being bombarded with clipped communication. Uh, pet peeve, cliche, cliche infested language, poor grammar, weak words, imprecise words, misused words are constantly hitting our, our psyche. They're hitting our brain up here. We watch television, the news, the commercials, the programming, that cliched clipped language of poor words and poor grammar is impervious. It's absolutely everywhere. It sort of drives me crazy because I tend to hear the, the cliches and the bad words more than I hear the, the message in between. Uh, digital marketing, marketing, we can't turn on any device, regardless of what we want to do with that advice, without finding advertising as part of the medium that we're looking at. Um, it's sort of a shame that the way uh, too many folks in, in the country and society live these days is we're sort of in a world of digital amusement. And I grew up with absorption in the book. And what we want, we want to find that time and that ability to craft words so we can capture people away from that digital amusement and move them toward absorption in books. As a sidelight, I looked at some of the, uh, some of the great writers, American writers, English writers of the, the last century, Fitzgerald, Orwell, James Joyce, Hemingway, Faulkner, that, that group of people. And look at the last one was uh, Tolkien. Tolkien passed away in 1973. The previous authors and scores more were able to write in an age in which there wasn't this bombardment from the media, from the digital media attacking their mind. They had, they had fewer distractions. Um, I'm certain they wrote, even though I wasn't there, with, uh, with greater solitude. But they also, those times before that digital media, they wrote letters, they wrote personal letters. Uh, they wrote periodical stories. They wrote stories for magazines to make money, to survive on. Those methods, they don't, those forms don't exist the way they did back then, personal letters and, and periodical stories. 
uh, there was a culture that they had of living in great cities, where there was, you know, New York City, Paris, various neighborhoods in Paris, London, the Bloomsbury Group, uh, or Venice. So, so at times I get jealous of the era that they lived in. They had much more um, solace to write and, and, and craft their ideas. Um, so, so what do we need to do, at least in my opinion, we sort of need to, to find our own nirvana. We need to find that place where we can subtract ourselves from that bombardment by the, uh, by the digital media. A couple suggestions, join a writer's group or an organization. Absolutely imperative that you find ways to socialize with other writers. Uh, I'm a member of the uh, North Carolina Writers Network, which is just a fantastic group of writers in the state of North Carolina. Your own Nirvana, I mean, mine obviously starts out in the office that I'm in now, but I've, I've used coffee shops, I've used malls to write. Yours might be in Asheville, it might be the Outer Banks, perhaps travel to the coast of Maine or Savannah, Georgia, or anywhere else might be that little place that you can sneak away to, to sneak away from here in the digital media. And um, don't, be, uh, don't be embarrassed to excuse yourself. If there's times where you need to, to close that door that for me is over in that direction, and say, I need some time to write. I need some time to craft words. Um, do that. You're not being antisocial at all. And, and finally, my advice is write, write, write. Um, in, in summary, this quick little look at sort of the, the digital media. Know the enemy. Know that it's out there. And know where it's affecting you. And then, then shun that clutter. Find ways to, uh, to get away from that clutter. Um, sort of be aware of what the, what the great authors had and the solace that they were able to, able to find. And then finally, summarize on all things, find, find that place of yours where you can uh, create your own writing nirvana, where you can be with yourself. And Vince, those are my quick little four or five minutes of ideas today on uh, a danger that we have to, have to watch out for uh, an impediment to great writing. And uh, in summary, just a quick little look, there's the books, two books on the left are short stories that I've written. Uh, Paranormal love story called A Quest for Love and a farcical short story called uh, A Waiting Room Frenzy. Uh, they're both available uh, at hiddentreasuresnovels.com or uh, on the Amazon website. And on the right, I'm working on crafting my first uh, full length novel called uh, Shattered by Fear. Hopefully you folks will uh, have a time and uh, take a few minutes to read either of those two books. Well, thank you, Thomas. Thank you, we appreciate your, your taking the time to be with us today. Uh, I, I hope that uh, viewers will tune in to the next Lessons Learned session uh, every Thursday. Tune in. Uh, Thomas will be sharing additional lessons next week. We look forward to uh, hearing from you, uh, Thomas, and uh, we look forward to seeing our viewers. Please do uh, reach out to us at hiddentreasurenovels.com. Um, we look forward to, uh, to hearing from you. We look forward to seeing you on our, on our site. and. Uh, uh, just enjoy, enjoy the day. Enjoy every moment that uh, that y'all have. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you.